Hey everyone, I'm Purge and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about and show you the updates that were released yesterday. That is the Members Loyalty Program Batch 3 and also the Money Pouch and the Tool Belt. So, let's go on with it. Now actually before I get on with it I will say I apologise again for not doing a video in quite a while. I'm like working more at the moment and with it being this close to Christmas I've had other obligations to take care of. Also, uh, when the interface changes were actually released, RuneScape actually kind of looked weird for me. I had two scroll bars on the right hand side of the screen. It looked very um, strange. And I'm probably going to need a new monitor sooner or later because, you know, this one looks like it's um, kind of going to die pretty soon. Anyway, enough of those problems. So I apologise again, folks, for the uh, lack of vids. I promise you that will not happen again. So stick with me, folks. Stick with me. Anyway... So, with that said, let's get on with it. Now, there has been some members, uh, another, some more loyalty rewards um, that was released yesterday. A couple more auras has um, been released, a few more um, emotes. So, I'm at the, I'm in Varrock now, Varrock Square, and there's the uh, shop owner of the loyalty shop. As you can see here, I've got the interface. My loyalty points is 32,100. So if I go to auras, and let's face it, you know, people are most interested in the auras. If we go down here, there's a few more, there's a few more um, tier 3 auras. There's like a Berserker, um, Enter a Wrathful State, a Wrathful State, I should say, which boosts your strength and attack, but at the cost of your defense. Um, there's Ancestor Spirits. When you are injured, there's a chance that your ancestors will arrive to injure your foe in retaliation. And, oh, Master Reverence, Master Knockout. And then there is, again, there is a Tier 4 aura, the Aegis aura, creates a protective shield lasts 30 minutes recharge five hours now and which reduces damage for half an hour now obviously everybody wants that one but nobody can afford it yet and to be honest it could be like the jack of all trades aura where everybody thought it was going to be good i don't know why to put that for a jack of all trades aura where everybody thought it was actually going to be good and then when people could actually afford it they said it was actually very very bad and you've also got um the salvation and corruption auras which i can't see right now but salvation and corruption auras those are the ones that uh give you um demon wings or angel wings when it's active and they will actually give you more prayer XP and when you're getting prayer XP it will give you prayer regeneration so yes everybody wants the Aegis aura because it's the most expensive nobody can afford it yet so when somebody does able, are able to afford it then obviously we'll see if it's any good there has been some new emotes um, there's the infernal power which actually looks pretty good there's like uh, the good version of it the divine power Ghost looks pretty good. Lolcano looks actually really good. But then again, if you're like me, you wouldn't actually want to spend your loyalty points on emotes. I would rather spend mine on good auras. So, that... But there you go, Jack of all trades is there. But Salvation and Corruption, for some reason, I can't see. Oh yeah, Dark Magic is a new one. Causes magic damage to have a chance to deal a corrupting damage over time effect. Um, obviously it remains to be seen if any of these are actually any good when somebody, um, you know, decides to spend the points to actually buy them. So, there you go. That's the first tier 4 one in the game. That's one everybody wants and nobody can afford yet. So, in a nutshell, that is the new auras and loyalty rewards and I won't actually, I'm going to look very rude now because I won't actually reply to him because I'm doing a vid. Um, so that is the 
new loyalty rewards. Now, what I really want to talk about is a couple of side updates, uh, one of them being the money pouch and the other being the tool belt. Now, up here, if you see a new icon up here, you uh, click it and there's, as you can see, just over three mil in there. Now, what happens now is if you withdraw money from the bank, it goes into your money pouch and you can right click it, you can toggle money pouch on and off so you can see how much you got on there, you don't have to. You can um, withdraw money and I won't do that because that requires putting a bank pin in. Um, I don't want to have to cut the vid off. You can withdraw money and it goes into your um, inventory. Um, you can actually buy things straight from your money pouch. If I go into a little uh, shop here. Now this costs... If I get out, if I uh, do my inventory. This costs... Um, 7k All right sorry 7k 1.5k now if i buy it okay i can't actually buy it because i need a bank pin oh how unprofessional okay be right back folks okay so after that little blooper i've put in the bank pin and i can actually show you withdrawing the money um so let's say i want to withdraw one mil um, there you go, one mil come out of my pouch. Now, as you saw there, it glowed red and it said minus one mil, which means I, like money is like leaving uh, the pouch. Now, I can add the coins to the pouch and then it flashed gold and it said plus one mil. And you can see that when you buy things. Um, this is 1.5k. I buy a fire battle staff. It glows and it says minus 1.5k. So you can easily see when money is going in and out of your pouch. So that's actually pretty nice. And conversely, I can sell one. And it glowed again, and it said plus 900, which is actually very nice. So, you can actually have all the money you have or I, in your bank, in your pouch now, because a very important thing to note is, no matter how much money is actually in your pouch, if you die, you do not lose any of the money that's in your pouch. So, if you had, you know, two bill in your pouch you'll be safe in the knowledge that you'll never use it and you know if you're trading or you need to, um, to go on a ship somewhere you'll know that you can all you always have money on you because you never need to take it out of your pouch and also in trades with other people you can trade directly from your pouch because in a in the trade screen there will be a um option to take money straight from your pouch and put it in the trade so you can basically have all of your money in the, your money pouch if you want you don't even have to have it in the bank anymore so that's very nice the other thing which is also very very good is if i go on to the uh war and equipment screen is this icon here it is called the tool belt if i click on it you get like a nice little interface here now the tool belt can actually hold a total of 39 tools in loads of different categories. You've got general, so you've got pickaxe, hammer, chisel, hatchet. You've got fishing, crayfish, fishing rod, small net, big net, etc. You've got crafting, needle, glass blue pipe, amulet mold, bracelet mold, etc. And farming, rake, seed dibber, spade, spade gardening trowel, sacateras, etc. Now, as long as you have tools in your tool belt, you can always use them wherever you need them. And also, you use them passively, which means they will be used automatically by just clicking on option, which I'll show you in a minute. And all you do to add a tool on the tool belt, if you have a tool that is on the tool belt, in fact, I'll get one out. Um, 
Okay. I can't get it off the toolbar apparently. But that doesn't matter because when you actually have them on the toolbar, you never need to leave them again. So to put a tool in a toolbar, you simply get a tool you can actually put on there, right click them, add a tool belt, and then it'll be added to the tool belt. Now, for things like a pickaxe and a hatchet, you can only use a bronze. You can't use anything higher than a bronze for a hatchet and a pickaxe and also for you can have a machete on it but it has to be a normal machete if you've got like a red topaz machete like i have you can't actually use it it has to be a normal machete however there's a small price to pay for having 39 tools always with you and again just like a money pouch if you die all of the tools stay on the tool belt you do not lose any so for quests and stuff it is excellent and very convenient. I really quite like this update. So, there's a tree here. I can just simply click chop. And then I can click chop on this one. Like so. Now, Instead of getting, like, you know, something like a knife or like a tinderbox to burn it, I can just left click to craft it. And I want to use a knife. And I want to make arrow shafts. And it just makes um, it strange to have a shaft without even a knife because it uses a knife on the tool belt. Or, oh, I actually just made two um, logs into arrow shafts. Or I can do it again, and I can right click light, and I like the logs because I've got the tinder box in the tool belt as well. So yes, the tool belt holds 39 basic tools, and they'll always be with you, they'll always be able to be used passively, and he's just got the angel wings from that aura I was telling you about, Salvation, and they'll always be used passively. So it's great for quests, or if you forget to bring tools to like um, certain skills, they're always there. And you know, you'll never have to be without money again, because of the money pouch, you can just always keep all your money in your money pouch. So to be honest, very good, in my opinion, both the money pouch and tool belt were very, very good updates, very convenient, very nice. So there you go, folks. That's the updates, this week's updates in a nutshell. I hope you liked this vid, and if you did, please thumb it up, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you want to speak to me or anyone else in my FC, please join my FC. There I am. So, I hope you enjoyed the vid, folks. Bye for now.